But now they can call me Batman. What up? It is Bones. Let's go ahead and have some fun today. We're going to talk about a little topic. Now, this is going to be about six inch versus seven inch. Now, I do parouse the comment sections, and I have been noticing a lot of people complaining and saying that why doesn't McFarland do six inch instead of seven inch? Now, believe me when I say I do know where you're coming from because when you look at a basic Marvel Legends, they are an itty bitty little figure. And of course, if you've been collecting as long as me, we did have DC Universe Classics. Now people could cry and say, oh, I want comic versions. I want a comic Green Arrow. Well, guess what? We already had one. And it is in your uh, beloved six inch scale. So if you want to go and hunt one down on the aftermarket and see how much it costs you. Oh, I want a, a comic accurate Dr. Fate. Well, guess what? We already have one. It's also from DC Universe Classic. Now I don't have to cry about this because I own all of the DC Universe Classics. My office is filled with DC Universe Classics. So that will tell you that I am basically done with six inch, but you still get the comments in there talking about McFarlane and the six inch and that why doesn't he go back to six inch now? I did find a comment where the guy said, basically, I can't understand why McFarlane doesn't do the most popular and the most common scale, which is six inch. Now this is an outright falsehood because of course you do have McFarlane at the seven inch scale, but also the old DC direct line was also seven inch scale. And then of course, NECA is seven inch scale. They even go up a little bit bigger than that. And then of course Mattel is seven inch scale. And of course Spawn is seven inch scale. So how is that the most common scale is six inch? I just don't get it. There's tons of seven inch lines. Of course, I'm not even talking about Super 7 and other lines like movie lines that are in seven inch. So where you get your thought process from, I just don't get it. But if you want to stay afraid of change and afraid of innovation, then guess what you're going to be left with? You're going to be left irrelevant. Now, if your jelly brain doesn't understand that, think about it for a while and then come back to me. But that basically means that if you're scared of new things to get out of a, the, the same old box, then you're going to be irrelevant. Okay. Now, I just love seeing in the comments when people cry that oh i would buy all your figures mcfarlane if you would go to six inch it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen your fanboy fantasies will never be quenched because todd has already stated that he doesn't want to be the same as legends he doesn't want to be the same old figures and he wants his figures to fit in with his scale so it's not gonna happen it's gonna be seven inch until the line ends. So you could cry all you want. It, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. I, for one, already collected six inch. I'm done with that scale and now I've moved on to seven inch. I could have my NECAs with my uh, multiverse figures and I'm, I don't have any problem with it. Now, as I said before, there's a lot of comments that just make me laugh when they can't get it through their thick skull. McFarlane is not going to go to six inch. Now, luckily, you guys can collect the retro Batman 60s figures. If that's, you know, those are six inch. Match those up with your Marvel Legends. Go for it. But the main DC multiverse is not changing. It's going to stay seven inch. And in fact, Marvel Legends has a beautiful line that's 
Marvel Select, and a lot of those figures are sought after. They're uh, uh, hard to not l notice it, but, but a lot of those figures are a lot more well done than the Legends line. And what are they? They're seven inch scale. So you guys could cry all you want. It's not gonna happen. Go home and cry to your mama with your six inch figures because seven inch is going nowhere. And if you don't like that, don't forget, mine is bigger than yours. See you in the next one.